going and they're not handling. Keep throwing it right there. Three fastballs in a row. He gone. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Goldschmidt, or Goldie just for short, he was an eighth-round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Cardinals nothing. Red stepping in at the plate. Back right after this on MLB Network. Alex Reyes gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Oh, Alex Reyes, one of the big, big arms, young up-and-coming arms in the game of baseball. Great fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Powerhouse slider, and I mean a true slider. His changeup has gotten better, and you can see why. When you watch this guy pitch, you'll know early on. If you see a lot of swings and misses early, Alex Reyes could be in for a really strong night. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Dan Dero, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play this afternoon. They have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah, Maddie, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over to harder plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off them. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first. After their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board, boys are flying around. And here's Jose Peraza. Pitch misses the throw down. Yes, right on the bag, and Reyes is out at second base. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first pitch, but they were ready for it. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. Now the 1-0. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. On to first, and there were two down. Time now for a look at the hometown Red starting lineup card in this one. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Yeah, there's no doubt they really need Joey Votto to bust out big time. Remember, this guy had exactly 100 RBIs last year. That's a big year. So when he gets it rolling, he's as dangerous as anyone in the game. He knows how to drive in runs. He just hasn't done it yet. They'll have to be patient with him, but obviously they hope he can figure it out real soon. Set to get his day started, Matt Carpenter batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Matt Carpenter. Here comes the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Carpenter hits a little over the 270 mark. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. Time for a look at the Cincinnati Reds on D. And let's focus our attention on first baseman Joey Votto. I don't think this guy gets enough credit for his defense because he's so dynamic on the offensive side but one of the most prepared players in our sport and half of that is definitely attributed 
to the defensive side of the ball. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. He's ready for his first at bat of this. Now at the plate, Jairo Munoz. He went hitless Having last been night been in a game where his guys could been push been across been only one been score. Been first pitch coming, here it is. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Dero, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And Reyes will put this one away, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In is Joey Votto now. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Joey Votto. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. The 1 0. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit, and it makes for a good start to the inning for Cincinnati. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowan. He's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. Set and the pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back to back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Tucker Barnhart. Stepping in now, Tucker Barnhart. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The 1 0. Lifted in the air out to center field. Bader moves over, one down. So here's how the Cardinals are positioned defensively. And I want to focus on first baseman Paul Goldschmidt. I'm going to steal a line from my partner here, Dan Plesak. Hashtag Goldschmidt happens. This former gold glover can play some serious defense as well as carry this offense. In now for the Reds, Brandon Phillips, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a changeup over the outside corner. There's a called strike on a changeup. Not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup down in the zone around the knees. And this one misses to Phillips. It's a ball and a strike. One's blooped out toward right center field. Thomas ranging forward. He can't get to it. This one's down. 
And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d row and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The knock's a knock. In now, number 25. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bader has a read on it. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. So here's the Reds pitcher, Anthony DiSclafani. Set. Here it comes. There's a strike. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Boy, you were you talking about frustrating as a pitcher. You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that. By getting a knock, now we could have some issues here. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. This is flared out towards second, and this is taken for the out. So one run on four hits here, no errors, and three left. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Reds one, and the Cardinals nothing. Welcome back to Cincinnati for Major League Baseball on MLB Network from Great American Ballpark. At the plate, Marcelo Zuna. And he's a guy who's been absolutely terrific over the last couple of series. Really swinging it well. First delivery to him on the way. Strike one to start the at bat. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0 2 fastball. It's 1 and 2. 0 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. The two two. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gone to lead off the inning. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Second home run early in the year. And the Redbirds are even now at one run apiece.
table. Batting eight, the catcher, number four, Yadier Molina. Your attention, please. A defensive change for the Reds. Now playing right field, number 66. Digging in to try it again. Yadier Molina he got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. A changeup over the inside corner. I heard so many pitchers in my career in the dugout talk about you're only one pitch away from getting out of a nasty situation. This is perfect right here. A strikeout or a double play, and he can get right back in control of this inning. Fastball called for strike two. The 0 2 to Molina. Swing and a soft liner. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now batting the pitcher, Alex Reyes. The pitcher, Alex Reyes, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now back. Center fielder. Harrison Bader. Into the box now. Harrison Bader. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Missed with a slider. Munoz on third Ozuna at second with two gone two balls and no strikes to the Cardinals center fielder that's back to back breaking balls away but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot you probably can't throw that again so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill the 2 0 on the way is looked at for the first strike. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. The 2-1. Popped him up. And Iglesias will put the squeeze on this one to retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Reds lead it. Five to three. Ready once again, Jose Peraza. No hits in two Leading trips the to the inning. plate for him in the ball game. One of the keys to securing a. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. Up next for Cincinnati. Catcher, Tucker Barnhart. From the stretch. And he takes ball one. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. One oh home softly hit out towards short and this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning a couple of walks but no damage don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this.
Ready for another shot now. Lane Thomas. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. CC Sabathia will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. CC Sabathia. Now the first pitch from CC. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Pitch on the way. Softly hit out to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. Previous history with Sabathia, he's one for five. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Let's see if he continues to climb that ladder or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in the dirt. Three runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Nope. Lays that's off that time, and it's one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 oh, 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. The 1 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another one two and a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way.
Now here's the pitch. Hit hard, but foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Another try at 2 2. Hard hit ball to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first is in time, and Sabathia has got himself two quick outs. Third baseman, number 13, Matt Carpenter. Here's Matt Carpenter. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Yeah. Sinkers in there. No balls and a strike. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and the changeup is way low that time. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on-deck circle. Now Sabathia's 1-1. And this will be fouled away. Three runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on Devoto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Still a two run deficit. It's five to three. Adam Wainwright will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Adam Wainwright. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Iglesias. He reached on a single in his first try. Jose Iglesias. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. I'm shocked he got to that pitch right there. In today's game of loading up, leg kicks, toe taps, drop in the hands, trying to create launch angle, that high heater usually gets by. And now is Yasiel Puig. He has no prior history against this pitcher. with the first pitch here it comes and that one just missed outside and now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here both the lefty and a right hander have stood up Wainwright comes set, coming home with the 1 1 pitch. Line toward right center. And that's in for a base hit, his second in his many trips to the plate. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock. And in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way was special. Into the box now, CC Sabathia. He swings and it's a line drive to left center. And that's going to get down out there. Now the tag by Molina, but it comes too late. He's in there to score. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing him softly, station to station with those knocks. 
Into the box, Andrew Steele as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Base hit into right center. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. The batter, number nine, shortstop, Jose. And here's Jose Peraza. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. Stepping up now, Paul DeYoung. He's one for two in the ball game. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next for the Cardinals. Second baseman, Jairo Munoz. Digging in once again, Jairo Munoz, one for two on his line. So Let's play ball. Now to the plate, Marcelo Zuna. Two him? hits in two trips Tough for him thus far. Marcelo Zuna. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey. Looks at a two-seamer right down the middle. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Popped him up. Iglesias waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Cardinals. They'll need to do better than that. It's 10 to 3. Coming to the plate now, Yasiel Puig. And he'll lead things off in the Cincinnati sixth. Yasiel Puig. Your attention is now batting for the Number seven, Eugenio Torres. Now pitching for the red. Number 47, Gio Gonzalez. In is Joey Votto now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Joey Votto. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. It's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Gio Gonzalez. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here. In inning number seven. First pitch of the at bat. And a neck high fastball that time. Barnhart over at second. Iglesias on at first with two down. Sally will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. And he 
fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One and one, here it comes. Adam fooled as this is popped up back behind short. DeYoung calls for it, and the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Reds 12 and the Cardinals 3. Your attention, please. Now Call to the bullpen the complete as the right-handed workhorse Ryan, Ryan Madsen set to take over. Now at the plate, Lane Thomas. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Fast ball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Now an off-speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he set down for the second time this afternoon. A look at our line score right there tells the story as the Reds lead this one here in the eighth in front of their home crowd here at Great American Ballpark. Oh. 
So digging in now, Paul Goldschmidt. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two-seamer to right-handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Matt Carpenter career numbers with Madsen. He hasn't had much success just two for eleven. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Hey. And that finds the target nothing in two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. The one, two. Well hit to right. But a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Another 1-2 delivery. Hit hard, but right into the ship. And that is through into right field for a single. Hey, some guys look out there, Dan. They don't care. They can't execute the ball the other way. It's not that easy. They're going to hit it as hard as they can right into the ship and let the chips fall where they may. You know, it's hard, d -Row, when you've come up all the way through high school, Little League, college ball in the minor leagues, and you're used to pulling the ball. That's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts. First offering on its way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. From the stretch, and it's fouled away. Here comes another 0 2, and this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals, they're down a bunch. It's 12 to 3. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Andrew Steele. Center fielder, Andrew Steele. Cecil's ready, first pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bader is under it, one down. 
the batter number nine, shortstop, Jose Arraza. In now, Jose Peraza. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. Iglesias will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. He's set and the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. You know, Dero, when he makes a phone call after the game to call his parents and say he had a four-hit day, you think he's going to tell them about that infield single right there oh no that was a line drive in the gap we always used to say on the bench Dan anybody could get three hits in a big league game got to get that fourth one that's what separates you those are the special moments and now is Yasiel Puig as he'll swing and pop this one up near second base Munoz has a play and that retires the side so they strike for three runs on five hits no errors and a couple of men left on we have played eight full the Reds are on top 15 to three into the box now Jairo Munoz starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats you can't mill in your chances as a professional. First offering on its way. And a hanger as he gives this one a pretty good ride out to deep center. And this one is gone a home run and good for him. Jairo Munoz has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. The left fielder, number 23, Marcelo. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. He's two for three and looking for more here. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a fastball just a bit high. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now, with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fastball with serious velocity. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually, pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 
career numbers with Madsen. A number of meetings. He's one for seven. One out, nobody on. Chopped weakly to the left. Iglesias is up with it. On to first, and that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. The pitcher number 40, Jordan Heck. Drew Jordan Robinson Hicks. will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 33, Drew Robinson. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. And now this crowd, right around 34,000 fans, comes to their feet. That one just missed outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Cardinals down to their final strike here. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter. But it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 15 to 4 in the final in this one. The Cincinnati Reds led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. CC Sabathia claims the win out of the pen his first. Alex Reyes was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network.
We'd like to welcome those of you just tuning in on the show. You're joining us at a great time. The Cincinnati Reds are looking to wrap this thing up, but with a one-run lead and the middle of the order due up, this thing is by no means over. He's set. Here it comes. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Bader, base runner at first with one out. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals first baseman. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Here's Matt Carpenter. He has no prior history against this pitcher. Has a look, now the pitch. Looks at a sinker over the inside part of the plate. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. He makes the catch. And the Reds have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Reds jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Alex Wood earns the win his second, striking out 12 in the process. Carlos Martinez is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. Rysel Iglesias records the save, his fifth of the year. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. It's Monday morning and welcome to